welcome back to the channel. Today I have something kind of fun and exciting planned. What I want to do today is I want to take the Joseph de Croo portraits and I thought it would be super duper fun to reproduce them while wearing my 18th century clothing and doing photography instead of actual painting because trust me, you don't want me to paint. That's not a good, I can't, don't. It's bad. To be perfectly honest with you all, I saw Rachel Maxey's video about doing a self-portrait a la Joseph de Croo a few weeks ago and I was totally inspired by her idea and then just kind of wanting to put my own spin on the idea. He was born in the 18th century. He was born in 1735 and he died in 1802. Joseph de Croo had an amazing career. He actually was made a baron before it wasn't cool to be nobility. And he was actually a royal painter in, in the court. He did portraits of Marie Antoinette, Louis XVI, and others. He was a very famous artist at the time. He was very well known at the time. In fact, his daughter is someone that we're all familiar with, Rose Adelaide de Croo. She did that portrait from the Met that we all are in love with. And it's also the first portrait that I was inspired by for my first 18th century dress. But what was so fascinating about his work was the fact that he was interested in physiognomy. And what physiognomy is, is it's a pseudoscience. It's complete garbage. But back then, Scientists. We're interested in the study of the human appearance, that it displayed human characteristics. So were you a good person? Were you a bad person? The problem with physiognomy is that, it, one, it's absolute crap. Like, it's total garbage. It's also used as a tool for institutionalized racism and, and other horrific moments in, in human history. But Joseph de Croo was interested in it, which is why he did the portraits, because he was interested in the human expression and seeing that very different sort of face put into portraiture. Because, you know, most times in portraiture, what we see is just the... Or the... Or the... Or the... Scary baby Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> but Joseph de Croo kind of flipped that on its head. By doing that, he's created this series of work that are, it's extremely important for us just as art historians. It helps us understand the past wasn't stiff, it wasn't boring, it wasn't rigid. Like we kind of want to interpret that as, and you're gonna pose yourself in certain ways to be attractive because you're not gonna blow all of this money on a portrait only to look like smoking hot garbage. Like that's not what we're into, okay? Like Picasso ain't a thing yet, all right? It's just not a thing. It's this interesting juxtaposition of normal, everyday, common, lowbrow behaviors mixed with the high-end oil painting, which was one of the top tiers of art, right? So it's this interesting mix of a very common pose with a very high level of art. I just thought, with my little art history brain and my dress historian brain and this YouTube channel and apparently some really active dogs, I just thought it'd be really fun to reproduce that as as a modern person wearing 18th century clothes and seeing how <laughs> and seeing how that translates into photography and seeing how that looks as an 18th century woman. Let's get this wrapped up and get the photo studio set up. Then I also need to get changed. jingle jangles. I'm locked and loaded. That was more intense than it should have been. <laughs> Word of advice for anyone at home. Don't put on a gown uh, or stays when you've been in quarantine for uh, four weeks. It doesn't go well. <laughs> Hopefully I won't 
blow a pin in the process. My one eyebrow looks a lot darker than the other one. Is that? I think that's because it, it is. Wow. I think I should probably fix that. <laughs> that's incredible. I it did not look that different when I was doing them. Okay, well I will uh, be right back and I'm gonna fix that that eyebrow right there. I think that's better. This one still looks like super big compared to the other one, but oh well, humans aren't symmetrical. So let's go downstairs and let's get everything set up. Hopefully I won't overheat in the process, not because these clothes are hot, but because I am just exhausted. All right, so before we actually go do the photos, I need to pick out which ones I want to try and reproduce. Now I know the one that I absolutely wanna do, I should not move too aggressively, I'll shake the camera. The classic one with the, because this is the meme, right? Like this is, this is archaic rap meme. So of course we're gonna do that one and this one's from 1793. So that's why I really wanna clarify that I'm not dressed in 1793 fashion. I'm dressed in 1776-ish, ish fashion. That's just something to keep in mind. So it's not gonna be like a date for date exchange of timeline and fashion and female versus male as much as i would love to be able to do that it's, it's not going to be so i want to do this one and then another one that i want to do it looks like the national museum in sweden actually acquired two joseph de Croo portraits and i really like those racial expressions and so i thought those would be really easy for me to do as well and then another one i'm thinking of doing is from the getty where he's yawning now unfortunately this gown I've never been entirely happy with how the sleeves have been set. Something got messed up from the fitting process to the stitching process, which happens. So they need to be reset because my mobility actually isn't all that great. Like I, can't, I this is as high as I can go up. That's gonna limit my ability to yawn, but it might be fun to try and see what I can and cannot do and see just how the gown moves in that process. Like already I can see that my pins just from sitting here, moving my arms around have kind of wiggled out. They wiggled out of, of their holding spaces. So it's just a good time, you know? It's just really fun to put on a gown that doesn't really quite fit you like it should anymore. Quarantine. Quarantine. Anyone else not eating their feelings? I mean, right? What else are you gonna do? <laughs> Those are the portraits I wanna do. Uh, so it's four. I need to break down how the lighting is set up. So let's open up those portraits and have a look at them and then figure out where the lighting is. And then from there, I can set up my lights in my studio and get the photo set up. So what I'm doing right now is just trying to figure out how the lighting is set up in all of these portraits. So I'm taking some red marker and on my iPad and marking where I'm seeing the highlights so I can see where the light is coming from and where is the shadow. So his portraits seem to all kind of use the same lighting, a more Rembrandt style from that upper corner. This one's actually pretty harsh. The shocked one here, it's a little bit of a softer light, not quite as bright, but you can see I'm still able to find these highlights and where the light is hitting his hands, his cheekbones, things like that. Wee, look at me go. Woo, oh, okay. Yeah, look, I wrote the note down. Go me. <laughs> and again here, so he's facing a different direction, but the light is still the same it's coming from the same direction, so his body's just turned to a different way. Unfortunately, I don't have a hat, so I'm not gonna get the same shadow across the eye like he has in this portrait, so that's a bit of a bummer, but I can still do the same movement. This one is the different one. His light's coming from the opposite side, so the light source is different, and it's also softer again. This one was kind of hard for me to see, the photo isn't that high quality, so it wasn't that high res, so I couldn't quite get as clear of a vision, but you can see that there's still some highlights.
So that was really chaotic. I've got the lighting set up, thanks to my mother. You don't have to come on if you don't want to. You can <laughs> say hi in the corner. We'll see how it turns out. I've discovered that Joseph DeCruz's walking stick is a lot taller than my walking stick, so we're gonna use some Photoshop magic. Old school style to make it look like it's that tall. All right, Mom. Almost there, need more books. In honor of Rachel, I shall use my special edition 50th anniversary Lord of the Rings trilogy book. Cool. All right, let's get this photo. First photo is down. Now it's time to do two more from the National Museum in uh, Sweden. Got his pinky on his mouth because he's kissing. You want, why are you wanting my lap so bad? Why? <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I guess, I guess we're just gonna add, yes, I know. We're just gonna add a dog to this photo shoot. Cause. everyone I really hope you enjoyed this week's video I had a really good time doing it even though it did not necessarily turn out the way I anticipated it to uh, thanks to my dogs let me know in the comments below what photo you thought turned out the best because at this point I haven't even seen them yet so I'll be curious to know what you all think is the best photo out of the ones that I took I'm also toying with the idea of making these photos available so people can meme them if they want to so hopefully I'll have something in the description where you can get the photos and meme me. It's not the first time I've been a meme, side story. If you're feeling inclined to uh, have archaic rap meme, meme resurgence with female artists instead of dudes, I'm all about that life, especially that Lizzo life. If it's your first time joining me here and you're just hanging out or you've been around for a while but you've forgotten, don't forget to subscribe. I post a video every Sunday and I would love to have you hang out with me on Sundays. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye. Physiognomic. Oh, what? <laughs> I know it's like a running joke at this point over what Abby can and cannot pronounce on her YouTube video, but okay. how are you? I think this one I actually would like to try and pronounce correctly. Woo! Don't chew her leg. Can you guys just not? Uh. Oh my God, that's so douchey. Why do I say that? <laughs> Griffy, don't you do it. I can see you in the camera. Go lay down. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, I got that on camera too. <laughs>